Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program 2. The Force Science update has just dropped and according to a lot of people it's fixed, well, pretty much everything. Um, I'm here on the menu screen uh, with all the settings turned up to max and my computer is fine. <laughs> my graphics card isn't trying to self-destruct, the whole thing's not trying to take off. Yeah, I did find out that turning on V-Sync does help quite a lot, but this is a definite improvement. So today we're going to take a look at a few more things within KSP2 that um, bugged both me and apparently quite a lot of other people, and yeah, we're just going to see what the state of the game is now. To start with then, we're here on the runway with the KSP-2 incarnation of my Cyclone Fighter. Uh, no BD Armoury for KSP-2 yet, obviously, so no weapons. Um, but yeah, I've had to do a few versions of this. I was having problems with like the wings and the symmetry, but those all appear to have been cleared up. Uh, let's take it off, because there were a few issues with... Um, few issues with some of the animations and what have you. I don't like the way it just defaults to 100% throttle, but we're not going to complain too much. Gear up. Let's turn stability assist off. It's not pulling massively to one side, the afterburner. Uh, maybe a little bit, tiny bit. Nothing to worry about, really. Uh, the afterburning animations, they're all fine now. This thing seems to fly okay. I've turned down the... Um, Maximum deflection on the control surfaces, just because you do get a little bit of a uh, little bit of wobble. Not too much though. Yeah, it does equal out a oh, little bit. Maybe something. Not a huge complaint though. Oh, bit of up and downwards wobble. Okay, Sam and Kerman looks like she's having a good time there. Um, yeah, I think there's maybe a few things to iron out, maybe a few more options they could give us, but I think a lot of this is just inherent uh, in this craft. So, in terms of in terms of the aircraft stuff, yeah, there doesn't appear to be... The major stuff seems to have been fixed, which is something I'm happy about. Let's, uh, let's go buzz one of, the, uh, one of the launch towers. Okay, and obviously, without any signs of BD Armoury coming to, uh, coming to KSP2 anytime soon, the aircraft maybe isn't where we should be focused. Maybe we should be looking at rockets, because rockets have also been something of a source of contention with KSP-2. When it comes to rockets, a lot of people have been complaining about uh, wobbly rockets and things not quite working right and not being stable, so I thought I'd throw in the ultimate test. I have uh, recreated my Brunel Mark II rocket from my uh, The Journey Continues series, and <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen here. Uh, who shall we get in? Uh, Hangen Kerman? You sound a little like Handgun Kerman. Not sure you'll be stable enough for the mission, but we'll we'll give you a go. Uh, who else haven't I? Uh, and yeah, you'll do. Let's launch and see what happens. Okay. Everything looks to be fine. Good stuff. Let's um let's fire this baby up and go for it. Ah, uh, let's let let's let's skip the countdown. Go. Looking good so far, looking good so far. We're not quite orientated correctly. Or well, oriented if you're uh, of an American persuasion. We need to start uh, going, just turning ourselves slightly over to the uh, to the east. Looking good so far. Solid rocket boosters still, uh, still going nicely. Um, rocket is not wobbling at all. And with this thing, I really would expect it. And normally, with KS in KSB, I do uh, I do go with um, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement on. Oh my God, we're above we're above ten thousand meters. Quite a lot above ten thousand meters. I really need to start turning over. Let's get rid of those. Okay, now just kicking up our speed and uh, our uh, apoapsis up to um, something acceptable. This has been this has been beautiful. I mean, <laughs> I tell a lie. I did. I did do. You know, sorry to spoil the magic. But I did do a test run of everything here, and the first time I loaded the Brunel Mark II onto the onto the launch pad, it just <laughs> it yeah the the Kraken struck with a vengeance, and it started wobbling everywhere and just exploded, and bits went flying all over the launch pad. Uh, quite a comical fashion. So that's that was um, 
I think I'm going to put that as a plus mark in uh, KSP2's books. When it fails, it tends to fail with a bit more of a, of a graphical flair that KSP2, KSP1 can't um, can't match. How are we doing? Another thing that normally happens here is normally I, well before this point, I've uh, I've um, exhausted this fuel tank here. I'm not taking up as heavy a load as I normally am though, so that's going to affect things. Let's just uh, let's just deploy the fairing. Oh no, I have to stage that first. <laughs> let's just deploy the fa down. I've turned that on. Let's deploy the fairing. Thank you. That's that's a bit of a weird way to deploy the fairing, but never mind. Um, let's see if we let's see if this works. Undock, right? Yes. Okay. So normally, what would happen is we flip around, we do various bits and bobs. Uh, I can take this off of here. Then I'd normally turn around, attach that to the end so I can get rid of that little bit of fairing. We're not going to do any of that. We are not going to do any of that here. Let's just undock. Um, yeah, we'll... we'll um, I think we'll just go straight into a retrograde burn and get back to uh, get back to Kerbin. Okay, let's close you. Uh, let's turn you off to the side so we're not going to ram into our own um, service module. And there we go. I didn't really have any problem with this when I did uh, when I did the first test play through on um, on KSP two. All the launching rockets seemed to go very well for me. I just wanted to really test, uh, throw it something a bit more stressful, see if it could cope with um, see if it could cope with it. And it, it seems to be doing pretty well. Okay, the graphics cards just started to pick up with <laughs> yeah with the fans. I don't think I can entirely blame it. I mean, I. I I love some parts of this game. I, the UI in the in the uh, vehicle assembly building, I don't like. I think, in some respects, that's a definite downgrade from um, from the original KSP. But a lot of the stuff here, I I do like the fact you can look in. I'm just seeing one of the couples has a. You can do couples with moustaches. Oh my god, that is fantastic! I've only just noticed that. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, but that is the first time my computer has ramped up since I started playing this. So, oh, it's going again a little bit. So, yeah, I think performance-wise, this is a massive improvement. I haven't managed to encounter any of the major bugs that I've encountered before or have been reported by a lot of people. So, I think, I think the full science update is a definite step in the right direction. So yeah, as I said, no real major issues that I can find. Um, performance stuff, a lot of that seems to have been fixed, so I may have to get back into this. I am planning to do a stream, if you're watching this on the Saturday, the plan is for a stream on the Sunday where I'm doing some KSP2. Uh, it was going to be games night, but I need to leave that an extra week for scheduling reasons, so hopefully... Uh, hopefully you can join me for a bit more. Though I might actually go into the science mode and see what we can uh, see what we can do there. I can't see the ground. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> oh, look at them there! Oh, happy little kerbals. I do like that. I mean, it must be a bitch with the graphics overhead, but it is fantastic just to be able to look in and see your kerbals there. That's maybe one little gripe I can say of with the um, in the original KSP of course these would sort of they sort of deploy outwards so that they didn't uh, interfere and clip through each other but it's not a big thing I think some of the UI in the uh, in the vehicle assembly building some of the UI stuff I'm that's what I've got a big gripe about at the moment but it's yeah as I said a lot of people have been saying for science seems to have fixed all the big stuff and from what I've seen here, I, I'll have to concur with that. I'll have to agree with it, yeah. Anyway, that'll be all for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, then please consider uh, liking, subscribing, commenting. If you uh, know of any more bugs that have persisted through that, I might have to go and uh, give that a test. Um, um, 
possibly following me on Twitter, maybe getting involved with the Discord, Great KSP and Beauty Armory community on there and more besides. So all those links in the description as I'll link to the PayPal and the Patreon. You could too can get your own little patron Kerbal for use in the Kerbal Space Program 1 videos and eventually the Kerbal Space Program 2 videos when I can either, when I either add the uh, add the ability to do pay, uh, custom Kerbals or I work out how I can hack them in. Um, Yes, uh, as well as name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon only Discord, access to everything I upload to Patreon. Uh, all those last two very much a work in progress, by the way. <laughs> I will be back soon with some more KSP stuff. Uh, probably more KSP one for the moment, but uh, until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.